Welcome to Taz's Wig Closet. This is Taz. I am going to review a wig for you today and actually this is a little bit by mistake because I really did not intend to review this wig. Um, but when I had it on and I've been wearing it, I thought why not? Everybody wants to know about all kinds of wigs. And so this was just a wig that I picked up on a clearance rack a few weeks ago and the name of this wig is Jade um, by Renee of Paris in the color Vanilla Lush. And uh, I think I got it for less than $50, if I'm not mistaken, on clearance. And so I just wanted to try it out. Um, my first impressions when I brought Jade out of the box and put her on was, wow, that's a lot of permatease. And everybody knows that I love permatease, um, but I was a little concerned about this one. The part uh, was kind of smashed down and just all this nesty permatease was sticking out. And I thought, how am I going to work with this? Um, so I went on a mission to try to do that, and then I thought I would share that with you today as well. So let's talk about the color first, Vanilla Lush. And you're going to see some really bright sun coming through the window. This is morning time. And uh, so I thought it might be neat so that we can see both artificial light behind me and uh, bright sunshine in front of me. So this color is basically a very light butterscotch blonde with a lot of pale, pale gold blonde highlights and then it blends into some really very light tips. Um, so this is a natural light behind me. I really love this color. I have a Stevie by Amour in this color. And love it. Alright, so I'm going to get up closer to the camera to show you the bright sunshine. So there's a very bright blonde effect in direct, direct sun. So a little bit about the specs on Jade, um, 3.8 ounces. So even despite a lot of that permatease, it's still a very lightweight wig. Um, I sense that these fibers are very light and, uh, you know, a little finer and denier than some of the uh, Renee of Paris wigs. And so I think a lot of that has to do with the layering as well. So we have a five and a half inch fringy bang area, an eight inch crown, and a 19, or I'm sorry, nine inch nape. So overall about 12 inches I would say, and you'll see some neat flips and things in the back. But all this really cute layering and fringe just really frames the face so well. All right, so um, like I said, a lot of permatease. So what I did initially was I just really got in there with my uh, wide tooth comb and, and loosened the fibers from that permatease, first of all, because when it's all pushed down like that, all you can see is that nasty look throughout. And uh, so I did that first. I shook it out really well, too, just to, again, separate those fibers. And then I messed up the part. You know, I went to work on the part immediately. There's a lot of permatease in all the usual places, just the top, the crown, lots and lots. It just feels like a carpet of permatease there. Then you're going to have permatease throughout the cap. I mean, I don't think there's anywhere in this cap that doesn't have permatease. <laughs> so um, if you are averse to permatease, this is not the wig for you. But I like the style, and I don't mind the permatease, and the weight. Uh, is just right so I decided to give it a try and I've worn it a couple different ways and I, I really enjoyed it and did get a lot of compliments on it I'll go ahead and do a spin for you So yeah, I'm getting along with it really well, much better than I actually thought I would. So some of the options that we could try here um, with this, and, and I have done, is pull this back into a little bit of a pony right here. Just leave a, a few tendrils down there to cover the wig line. And because of this face framing uh, fringy layers there, 
it it looks really nice it really does um, and the other thing I have done is taken it uh, back and clipped it back here which was real cute as well so let's take a look at coverage I would say this has a pretty good coverage actually the cap is very stiff because again this cap is a total standard cap there's no lace there's no monofilament um, so it's a closed rose lace top with all the permatease and then open wefted throughout the back but those ear tabs do provide a decent amount of coverage you know I'm really pleased with it because typically I would have my bio hair sticking out there um, on the side looks real cute behind the ear as well All right, so this is a take a quick look at Jade by Renee of Paris in both natural and bright light. Take care, everybody. See you next time on Taz's Week Closet.